بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما so the next thing we'll try to understand there is something called ebgp now mostly you will be running ebgp as well like you you might be uh, connecting your organization let's say this is my organization and in this organization as i said you will be running plenty of routers running ospf or ehrp routing to provide end to end reachability so technically you will be running a bgp on any one of these routers so let's say i'm running i'm connecting to two service providers service provider 1 and service provider 2 and the as number what i'm using is 500 so already we have seen how to configure ibgp so ibgp with loopbacks that's something what we have seen in the previous scenario so you will be running bgp on selected routers and you will be exchanging the routes from between these two routers not only that you will also form ebgp neighbors so you also need to configure your routers to exchange the prefixes from the service provider and the service provider will be in a different as so maybe the service provider 1 is in as 2000 and my organization is in as 500 and we are trying to form the neighborship between this router and this router so these two are in different autonomous system number which means we are trying to form ebgp neighbors here okay so in terms of ebgp configuration is going to be exactly the same as what we did so if i quickly see the configuration in this example let's assume that this is your organization running ibgp and also it is running ebgp so let's assume this is my service provider 1 connecting in the as 600 So in terms of configuration it will be like a normal configuration you see on the router 1 so i need to go to router 1 so i removed the previous lab configurations completely so it's a fresh configurations we say router bgp and the router 1 is pairing with router 2 here now again remember the full mesh is only required within the same as not outside the as which means router 1 no need to form neighborship with router 3 because there is no direct connection okay so normally ebgp neighbors normally they are directly connected whereas ibgp neighbors not compulsory to be directly connected so in my example i'm going to pair with router 1 which is router 2 the remote as is 500 and you can advertise your own networks let's say i'm advertising some tend dot network here and if you go to router 2 configurations let's see the configuration on the router 3 first so if you check the router 3 now router 3 is in the as 600 and i'm going to configure the neighbor with router 2 which is 2.2.2.1 and what is my as number 500 now here you can see clearly my as number is 600 and i'm trying to form the neighborship with this neighbor which is in 4500 so if these two as numbers are different then the router will automatically understand that it is an external bgp neighbor so in my example it's an external bgp neighbor and then you can advertise some network here 3 dot network here so if you go to router 2 now router 2 is is a router which is forming ibgp neighborship with router 1 as in the same as and it is forming ebgp neighbors with router 3 so if you see the configuration this is my ibgp neighbor same as and this is my ebgp neighbor so let's quickly do the configuration on the router 2 also so on the router 2 router 2 is in as 500 so it's pairing with router 1 500 and also pairing with router 2 which is in the 600 here and then i can just go ahead and advertise networks whatever i want so if you try to see the configuration here uh, in terms of ebgp configuration example 
there's nothing much difference what we did. The only thing we need to know is the eBGP neighbors has to be directly connected in our case. And when you do the configurations, uh, we will be using a remote AS members will change. Based on that, the routers will understand that it is an external BGP neighbor. And in, when it comes to IBGP, it's the same configuration. You can use loopbacks if you want, but anyway, there is no internet links here. So there is no point in using loopbacks when you don't have internet links. So we are just keeping IBGP configurations aside because here, uh, in this topic, our main focus is on understanding the eBGP configurations.